All right, for this video, I'm going to be using the new version 2049. And before I get into this particular subject matter, I did see something I did not know that was in this version. If you click on metadata export, there's a new tab over here called advanced. And when you click on that, it's grayed out. So that means it's not available in the free version, but he's doing something with the metadata settings. I do not know what this does, what it's going to do, but it does look interesting. So be on the lookout for that. In this video, we're going to talk about events. The event scheduler is, I would say, one of the most um, incredible parts about Radio DJ. It's two ways you can access the events. You can click on this bar. If you have nothing down here, this little bar with the three lines, you can click on that. That's going to bring you up the events, or you can click on the wrench and click on events. Okay, you get the same thing. This bar down here is just a shortcut. Wow, there's so much about this event thing. I'm not going to do all of it in one video. Okay, so we're just going to do um, bits and pieces at a time. So this is what comes up when you first open up the event thing. The bottom left is a drop down menu that lets you see upcoming events, all events, and individual events. How this works is upcoming events mean events up until midnight your time. So if you don't have any, if you look at this right now and you don't see anything, that means from the time you open this up to midnight, there are no events. They didn't go anywhere. They just, they don't show because there are no events. So that's what upcoming events is. It's events right now from right now to midnight. All events should show all events. But as you see, when I go down here to individual events, then we see one that shows up, but didn't show up in all events. Why? I think it has something to do with time. So let me double click on this and let me Maybe move this up closer to midnight. It still doesn't show. Okay, that's very interesting. Oh, okay. It didn't show because the, the date has passed. So... Yeah, today is the 18th. This event was done on the 17th. So if I put this over to the 19th and I go back down to all events, it still doesn't show what is really going on here. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's a bug. And then individual events will show all the individual events. So let's delete that event because we have no events. All right. So to make an event, of course, you will click on the plus sign and we'll begin to make an event. Before we get there, I want to talk about this interface. Okay. Up at the top left corner, this long bar right here. If you got a plethora of events, you can search for them by typing up in that bar. Um, you can even say, I want to see all of the events on a certain day. Show me all the events on a certain day. When you select that, it'll show you all the events for that day. Then we have the categories over here. A lot of people, um, I ain't gonna say a lot of people, but some people I've dealt with, they use this wrong. Okay. But I, I don't think there's a wrong or a right way to use it. I think, let me explain it to you the way I use it. Maybe that'll help. Okay, events can have categories. And so what helps me is I have a ton of sweeper events. And there's, you know, when you're looking at all the events, man, everything you can, 
you can alphabetize them by the hour or you can put them in order by the hour or you can put them in order by the name. Well, what I do is if, if it's a sweeper, if it's an event that changes my sweeper category, I create a category, a event category called sweeper. So I would click on categories and I would create a um, category called sweepers, right? So why would I do that? So that if I'm really trying to, if I don't know the name of it, right? And if I just want to see all of the sweepers, then I'll be able to do that. So if I got a bunch of rotations that are rotating out, right? Let's make that. We're going to make an event category called rotations. That's what it's like on the basic level. But this thing is so much powerful. I think this is going to be a bunch of um, videos because the event thing is the probably one of the most powerful is part of radio DJ. I just want to show you around in this video. So we have our plus, we have our uh, minus, we have a refresh and you see that you can make event categories. All right. So basically in a category, you want to just, maybe you want to group all of the events that are similar so that you can find them faster. That's, that's how one way of looking at it. But there's another thing you can do with this that whew, is very powerful. You would not believe how powerful this is. All right. So that's all I'm going to talk about in this video because I want to keep these short. Okay. I want to keep these short. Um, so in the next video, we're going to talk about making an event and the different things you can do when you make the event. All right. So in this video, I just want to talk about the event thing itself, how to get to it. What's the purpose of the categories? You can use these categories for whatever you want. I will tell you this. When you create a category, there is an event function that says every event in here, turn them off. Hmm. And then you can have another event that says everything in this particular event category, turn them back on. You know what I use that for Christmas, the holidays, when December comes, my system, I have it turn off the regular sweeper categories and turn on the Christmas sweeper category. So now all of a sudden radio DJ is loading up my Christmas sweepers and my Christmas um, rotations and my Christmas events. It turns them on automatically. And then um, on the 26, 27, whatever, it turns them all off and switches everything back over to regular programming. I love it. It's flawless. It, it's just amazing to me. I can be out driving. I can be out of the country and it will do what it is supposed to do. That's one of the um, powerful things about making categories. So you can make a category where you can turn it on all the events inside of it. You can turn them on, basically disable or enable those events. And you can, of course, use the event scheduler to do that. So hang in there with me. I'm going to try to do these um, micro series all about the event scheduler in Radio DJ. See you in the next video.